Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now, hopefully you've seen our steak video where we show you how to make the perfect steak. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. But today we're talking steak sauces. I'm going to share with you six of my favorite sauces to serve with steak. And we're going to start off with a personal favorite, this lovely creamy fiery sauce, peppercorn sauce. First, we're going to place three teaspoons of peppercorns in a Ziploc bag and roughly crush them with a rolling pin. Now add a tablespoon of unsalted butter and half a tablespoon of sunflower oil to a frying pan and heat over a medium heat. Add in two finely chopped shallots, quarter of a teaspoon of salt and those crushed peppercorns from earlier. We're also going to add in one teaspoon of whole peppercorns and then cook for two to three minutes until the shallots are just starting to soften. Now add three tablespoons of brandy and let that bubble for a minute. Then we're going to add in 180 ml or three quarters of a cup of beef stock plus a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Bring that to the boil and let it simmer for about five minutes until it's reduced by half. Then we add in 120 ml or half a cup of double or heavy cream. Stir in the cream and bring back to a simmer. Then turn off the heat and serve over that lovely steak. Now for a delicious red wine jus. We start off by adding a tablespoon of unsalted butter plus half a tablespoon of sunflower oil to a frying pan and heat over a medium heat. Then we add two finely diced shallots and cook them for two to three minutes until the shallots have just started to soften. Now add in two minced cloves of garlic and cook for about 30 seconds. Next in goes a teaspoon of plain all-purpose flour and just cook that for another 30 seconds. Now add in 120ml, which is about half a cup of red wine, plus 180ml, which is about three quarters of a cup of beef stock. We're also going to add in a good pinch of salt and pepper. Give it a stir together and bring to the boil, and then simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, stirring occasionally until it's slightly thickened. If you've got any juices left over from cooking your steak, you can also add those in too. Now stir in a little fresh thyme and you're good to go. For all those mushroom lovers out there, we've got this amazing creamy mushroom sauce. We're going to start by adding a tablespoon of unsalted butter and half a tablespoon of sunflower oil to a pan and heat over a medium heat. Then we add in a finely diced shallot and cook for a few minutes until just starting to soften. Next in goes eight chestnut mushrooms which have been thickly sliced, plus two cloves of minced garlic. We're also going to add in half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and quarter of a teaspoon of dried thyme, or two sprigs of fresh thyme. Give that a stir and cook for about three minutes until the mushrooms are softened. Then we're going to add in 120 ml or half a cup of white wine. Bring that to the boil and simmer until almost all the liquid has evaporated. Then we'll add in 120 ml or half a cup of chicken stock and 180 ml or three quarters of a cup of double or heavy cream. Let that simmer for about two to three minutes. And then serve over steak. Next up is this fantastic Diane sauce. First we add one tablespoon of unsalted butter plus half a tablespoon of sunflower oil to a frying pan and heat over a medium heat. Then we add in two finely chopped shallots plus quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and black pepper and one minced clove of garlic. Cook them together for about two to three minutes until the shallots are just starting to soften. Now we add in two tablespoons of cognac and let that bubble for about a minute before adding 180 ml or three quarters of a cup of beef stock. We're also going to add in a teaspoon of Worcester sauce and two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Cook together for a further two to three minutes until slightly thickened. 
Then add in 120 ml or half a cup of double or heavy cream. Bring back to the boil, let that simmer for a couple of minutes. Then turn off the heat and serve over steak. Now I love this simple versatile garlic butter. You can serve it with anything, but I particularly love it with steak. We're gonna add 120 grams, which is about eight tablespoons of unsalted soft butter to a bowl, along with two teaspoons of dried parsley, one teaspoon of salt, and three minced cloves of garlic. and then give that a good stir together until it's thoroughly combined. You can serve it right away, or if you want to make it into a roll so you can slice it, then place blobs of the garlic butter on some cling film and roll it up. Twist the ends together and then place it in the refrigerator for at least an hour until it's nice and firm. Once that's refrigerated, you can slice it up and serve. I love how that garlic butter melts into that juicy steak. And the final recipe is for this luxurious blue cheese sauce. First add two tablespoons of unsalted butter to a frying pan and heat over a medium heat. Then add a finely diced shallot and cook for about three to four minutes until softened before adding a minced clove of garlic Cook that for about another minute. Then we're going to add in 150 ml or half a cup plus two tablespoons of double or heavy cream, plus 125 grams or four and a half ounces of crumbled Stilton. Stir together until the cheese melts and the sauce thickens slightly. This should only take a couple of minutes. Then add in a tablespoon of Worcester sauce and quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that all together and let that bubble for another minute or two until thickened to your liking. And then serve over steak. So let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite sauce to serve with steak? And don't forget to check out our video on how to cook the perfect steak. And also my favorite potatoes to serve with steak. See you next time.